First, it was Ben Roethlisberger. Then, it was Tom Brady. Two Hall of Fame quarterbacks calling it a career and marking the end of an era. The same could be said for Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay. Will he stay or will he go? A lot of decisions to be made. I don't want to be a part of a rebuild. If Rodgers decides to leave Green Bay for perhaps greener pastures, number 12 will have plenty of teams calling for him to be their QB1. Rodgers isn't the only commodity that could be on the market. After an offseason full of turmoil, followed up by his first losing season in Seattle, it's quite possible that Russell Wilson might make even more noise about getting out of the Emerald City. It's going to be abundantly clear to the Seahawks that he would like the opportunity to play elsewhere, and obviously he has a no-trade clause. Elsewhere in the NFC West, Jimmy Garoppolo has already said farewell to the 49ers faithful. I'm excited about the opportunities to come. I just want to go to a place where they want to win. It's been a hell of a ride. I love you guys. See ya. Then there's the saga of Deshaun Watson in Houston. With his legal status still in limbo, the question still remains. Does he finally get moved? especially considering that the demand for franchise quarterbacks has increased. Decisions are also looming in both Vegas and Minnesota. Derek Carr and Kirk Cousins are both entering the final year of their current contracts. Who will stay and who will go? The quarterback carousel is about to begin. Oh, where, oh, where will the quarterbacks go? That's the name of the game. Thanks for joining us here. I'm Sherry Burris alongside NFL analyst Brady Quinn and senior NFL reporter Jonathan Jones. Tom Brady, guys, we saw it officially retiring from the NFL. So that means in Tampa Bay, you have Blaine Gabbert and Kyle Trask on their roster. But Brady, I want to start with you. Is Tom Brady really done, you think? Well, as, as Tom Brady said, you never say never in the <laughs> NFL. That's one of the things that you learn during your film study and being a part of the New England Patriots organizations and a lot of coaches who left uh, since then. We'll talk about that. But it's hard to believe that he would be willing to come back, uh, especially considering how long he's been, how successful it's been. But he's still playing at such a high level. There might be a handful of quarterbacks you'd say, all right, maybe we'd rather have instead of Tom Brady. But at this point, There'd be a market for him. And I think the only team as of right now, if he indeed did want to come back and play, would be the Las Vegas Raiders. And granted, they still have Derek Carr. He's got a one-year left on his deal. But Josh McDaniels is there. He's very familiar with him and the system. They made some noise, got to the playoffs this past year. It is Vegas. That's like the only team I can think of in the back of my mind he would maybe think about even coming back for. You know, Sherry, I'm glad that you started with Brady because I wouldn't have even entertained the question. So I appreciate that you went in-depth on that. Tom Brady's not coming back. I mean, if he can have this beautiful kind of weather in California, Florida, retirement, yeah, I could see Brady signing up for that. But let's do want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.